I don't know if this is the screen. Power low, getting signal. Yeah, make your way in and just get what he did. And that should. I think that's going to feel bad. Oh, it's No, don't. Have a low. Okay, I'm going to. All right, hello, hello. Just make your way in. You can take a seat. Hopefully, hopefully this is all getting cleared. So I'm just gonna go ahead and um, sorry, you get me. All right, yeah, just make your way in and we'll just take a seat. We'll get started in a couple of minutes, and then we'll all be good. Yeah. Yeah, three minutes. So just make your way in. Um, I would like you guys to ask to get like um, maybe like a laptop or a phone out. Just get like a writing, maybe like a Google Doc open or whatever your preferred like writing tool is. Um, just for the activity. Uh, it's going to be mostly a pretty chill workshop, so no pressure or anything. Yeah. What about other than that? What about us? What about us? I think we're really taking attendance. <laughs> All right, so Martin Jan was talking. Oh. Shop All right, so why is there an F? Because, uh, what? There's, like, there's a reason behind it. Unless it goes hard. Yeah. I've been having oh, this shit for like. Uh, okay, a, a, little bit, a little bit of a tidbit. Um, the reason why there's like an apple for the logo is because like the original logo was like supposed to be Isaac Newton. And so Isaac Newton. I heard that that was, like, was bullshit. That, was that bullshit. it wasn't that. That really? it wasn't for that reason. I, it was because of um, this, Adam this Newton, 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 Newton. Like the, the apple. It's because she Steve Jobs hated doctors. <laughs> why why did he the doctors? <laughs> okay. I mean, either way. It seems like we're sticking with an apple theming from now on. I just, I just <laughs> realized. No, I just realized. Oh, it's an like, apple. Yeah. This whole theming. Oh, it looks oh, it's oh it's just like a, yeah. is this a Mac theme? No, and I just. It was, <laughs> it's just it was apple. Just apple. Yeah. You're telling me that's not the heat death of the universe. It's not the heat death of the universe. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, it's clearly a wormhole right in the middle of it. True, oh. with a worm in it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice well, well, you better not have an orange here or else there's apples going to die. Ooh. But then can you that? really compare those <laughs> apples to oranges? <laughs> Wait, worms can you die from oranges? If you know, you know. Yeah, mm. we, can't, we can't do that here. Yeah, um, yeah we, we can't have people that don't have an yeah. orange. Well, I mean, are orange people? people? Aren't really you glad that we have, don't have people? Yeah. Yeah. Not a orange specific. Aren't you, like, aren't you glad people. that you're going to stop saying those orange plants right now? Man, aren't I glad that we're going to get started with this meeting? I mean, miss meeting, this workshop. Sorry. I'm a little bit tired today, but. I'm a little bad with orange counting. Orange uh, <laughs> Oh, my God. But, yeah. Today. So, uh, welcome, everyone. Um, This is our first writing workshop of the quarter. Woo! So, um. Just to start off with the quarter, right, uh, for the writing department, we're just going to be focusing on a very more, uh, a very relaxed um, uh, topic for today, um, setting up short stories for short games. And so what we'll be focusing on is, um, is a little bit of how you can frame those short stories um, currently. Um, I, I just want to address um, who are we exactly, right? And um, would it be all right if um, I could get one of you guys to um, to do a bit of voice acting real quick? Uh, maybe. All right. Oh. You just raise your hand first. So um, you'll read out the first line, and then from there you read out every other line. All right. Okay. All right. So we are the we are the writing department. Simple as that. Yeah. No, I understand that. I get you. But like, what do they do? And then I begin to implement it. They do writing. Game writing, right? Hmm. Yeah. We do that too, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do. 
You're dead to me. What? No, I can't believe you did this. We're not allowed to do this. Alienating our members. I love alienating my members. No, I'm just playing. I love you guys. For real, um, we are the writing department, right? Uh, in case you missed our first meeting, or in case you just wanted to recap, uh, we just teach writing concepts for games, uh, such as narrative structures, character and environments, dialogue and behaviors, and flavor and descriptive text. Basically, anything that involves um, reading in your game, that's pretty much what we're in charge of, right? So we kind of go hand in hand with uh, a lot of other departments. I would say we are much closer to departments like design. No, well, um, why do you why do you use this picture? Why do I use this picture? Because it's a it's a cool background. I it just found it. It's like it is not. Don't use it. I use this as my wallpaper. Don't use it <laughs> as your wallpaper. What the fuck? No, I'm just playing. I mean, I would now. This is this is a good wallpaper. But now that you pointed it out, he's going to. I'm going to now. <laughs> yeah, set that in stone. All right, but for real though, um, our department is much inter much more intertwined into uh, other departments like design, where we focus a lot on setting up a structure for the game's mood. Um, how exactly a game flows in terms of its story, of course, but also in its uh, design, as well as its environmental storytelling. Not all games need to have some sort of world or character to use. Um, just, a, just a bit of a brief introduction into some of the more complex topics we'll be going over for this quarter. So um, to get back into the um, topic for today's workshop, uh, here's a couple of short, uh, some short games, some short, <laughs> sorry, some short games here. Um, so a couple of these, um, basically follow that kind of, of like maybe like three or like one hour kind of play time that I can remember. Um, a couple of these games that I like to highlight are Swallow the Sea. Um, minutes and the technical portal. It depends on how fast you can really go through the game. I, I've heard that some playthroughs can usually take like maybe three hours, but I would still consider that to be a short game, considering that if you're like really good at puzzle games, then you know it's kind of a breeze. But either way, what all these games have in common is not just their playtime, but in how much, um, how much of their plot has been like compacted down to fit within that short time frame. So a couple of these, for example, uh, I would say Swallow the Sea is more of like a very grotesque kind of horror game where you play as this um, sea worm alien thing that you're just, it kind of plays like, um, it's the one flash worm game that like a lot of people used to play in like middle school. Slitherio? So, yeah, Slitherio, yeah. Slitherio, it plays a lot like that, but it's essentially like a lot of creepy pixel art applied onto that. And the whole point of the game is to basically grow as you eat a lot more things until you reach the end. It's not, I, I mean, there's no, there's no like a uh, big spoiler at the end or anything because you just eat and you just grow. But I will say the play time for this is actually, it took me only 15 minutes to beat the whole thing, but it tells so much okay. with how little gameplay there, <laughs> how little, there's barely <laughs> any gameplay other than just eating a, like a bunch of stuff. Um, but the whole point of the game is to just tell you that there's this big worm that just eats, but there's also like a rebirth, like Ouroboros theme going on at the end that you only really discover after like the 15 minutes. Again, this is very brief, but I, again, it packs a lot of the significant details into just a couple of like minutes. And another game that I want to highlight is We Were Here. We Were Here is a um, cooperative kind of asynchronous um, survival puzzle solving game where you're basically trapped in like this mansion and you're both in different rooms at all times and you basically never see each other, but you solve puzzles in your room to help the other person escape their room. So it's kind of like a uh, escape room game where you're both cooperating asynchronously to help each other, if that makes sense. I hope I, I, hope I described that right, but Throughout the game, you see a lot of themes of like um, of like hopelessness and a sort of lost history because of greed. I believe um, you're basically just serving as explorers, just making um, note of like like what used to be like a um, like a proper like kind of like an elite family that just kind of just withered away because of like their own greed or whatever. 
But again, it packs a lot of critical themes in that game with only a span of like two hours, right? It could be way longer. It took um it took me way longer to be with a friend because we were we were really scared at the end. Because I forgot to mention it's also a horror game. So we were really scared at the end, and it's a lot of pressure put onto you at the end. The fucking theater section of that game made me shit my pants. I know, right? <laughs> Wait, are you talking about we were here? Are you talking about we were here? We were here, yeah. The theater section is so scary, dude. For no reason. Oh, the theater kids are all right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they are scary. But yes, yeah, um, a couple of games that I want to go over real quick is um, A Short Hike. Uh, if you guys haven't played that, that's essentially just a um, brief little two hour plus game where you just go up a mountain. The name implies everything that you do, but again, the whole point of the game is to serve as a sort of relaxing journey. Um, more of the themes are focused about um, self healing, in a way. Um, and it tells that pretty like excellently through the um, through. Sorry, hold on, Brian, can you help me out here? Um, get narrative through gameplay. It serves as a um, uh, not, nothing. I was saying it, that, that was a workshop. Yeah, yeah. We also that's why I'm shouting out another workshop. Narrative through gameplay. A lot of the narrative is told as you're like climbing up the mountain and just doing some basic platforming, and it's really um kind of a sweet time. I recommend this game a lot. Um, I think it is like a couple of uh, dollars. I don't remember how much it exactly was, but I do recommend. It. Uh, Minute is also. A personal favorite of mine, um, not in terms of the story, but in terms of the gameplay itself, you essentially just are given a uh, like a minute, as the name implies, to basically explore the entire world. This game will take you about like two or three hours or so to complete, but you're only given 60 second intervals to actually do any significant action. And as you're exploring through the game, you realize that it's sort of a plot about um, corporate greed, it's funnily enough. Um, I won't spoil too much because I really do think that the that it doesn't take you too long to actually get to the ending. Um, there's some puzzle solving to be done, and you can get lost if you um, don't use your time properly. So just keeping that in mind. Um, and of course, I just want to focus on a couple of these games before we move on. I just want to focus on games like We Were Here, Minute, and Portal. Just those three for now. Um, yeah. Okay. So. All of those three games, Minute, You Were Here, and Portal, each of these games follow uh, the same principles of like storytelling as a whole. But a few of these that you want to keep in mind are pacing of the plot, the structure of the narrative, establishing the mood, and of course, your characters, right? So to go over the first point, let's take, um, let's take Portal, for example. Uh, I might take Portal for a lot of these, honestly, but I feel like it's a pretty easy Example. So in Portal, the pacing of the plot is you wake up in your in your room and you're basically being told by this very cynical and snarky AI to go do a bunch of puzzles, right? And as you're um, doing all your puzzles, you start to realize that the more you explore, the more like run down the place is. And you start to realize that as you're progressing further, you're getting to this climax um, of the game. Um, how many of you guys have actually played Portal? Though? I know what happens. Okay. <laughs> okay, you know what happens. All right. Same. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So basically, the pacing of the game starts off as you waking up, you doing the first couple of puzzles, you basically escaping the AI, the AI, and at the end, you're basically given a false sense of security by escaping, only to be brought back immediately after and that's the end of the game right but in those four significant like key moments of the game it's already telling you like a very like a very um sorry i'm kind of blanking here but then essentially it um it tells you all of the key details within a short amount of time and it does it pretty well with making sure that all the puzzles are not too complex, but just complex enough to really make sure that you're not blazing through the entire story in under a minute. Right. So that's another thing to keep in mind. You want to make sure that your gameplay also flows or also is taken into consideration as you're pacing out your plot. Because you can have something simple as 
waking up, doing puzzles, escaping the AI, and being taken back in like under an hour. But yeah. those puzzles in between make sure that you actually get like a like a kind of steady flow of those plot points as you're progressing. Um, that kind of ties in with the structure of narrative. Um, and of course, this kind of ties in with pacing as well, where you want to make sure that you waking up in your bedroom or in your like test bedroom, test chamber bedroom, um, makes sense with you just doing all the puzzles and then deciding to escape. You can't just start off with you waking up, then deciding to escape, and then for some reason going back to the puzzles, then deciding to escape again, and then just all that. It just gets too convoluted. So you want to make sure that you got your key moments out and make sure that they follow the pacing of the game. Um, establishing the mood, that's also pretty important for structure. Do you want, let's say, what would happen if like Portal, for example, had a more, like decided to go to a more comedic route where the AI is just always making like these quips at you? It wouldn't really feel as like dystopian as it does, mm -hmm. right? You want to make sure that you're making the environment as well as the interactions with you and the GLaDOS to be, um, to be comedic, sure, but also to kind of imply that you're basically like the last human alive in like wherever like test science hell that you're studying, right? And of course, that ties into the last point with the characters, right? Um, of course, as you're playing through the game, you do encounter um, GLaDOS, you do um, as uh, Chell, the main character that you play as. Although she is a silent protagonist, it is important to have those characters established, even if you basically never see them outside of the beginning of the game. You, like, you never see yourself through like, mirrors or whatever. But it's still important to establish characters just so you can get an idea of what the player is supposed to feel as this character, even if they're just serving as a blank slate, right? Um, to kind of divert away from all these shorter games, a lot of blank slate characters can still have essential character traits that make them do like, that like take into consideration of like how they behave and why they're able to exist in the game world as they do. So like another example, I guess I would say is like uh, Gordon Freeman from Half-Life. In the first Half-Life, he's essentially just some random scientist that happens to be the um, at the forefront of all of the games, like um, all of the games, like key moments, right? From the Resonance Cascade, to the government invading their uh, lab, to saving all the scientists and whatnot. So it's important to consider that even though they serve as blank slate characters, they still have personality traits that you can apply to them. Like maybe they're maybe they're kind to the scientists, or maybe they understand that uh, they need to be like uh, like skeptical of people that just manipulate their trust. Right? You just want to take those factors into consideration. So yeah. Um, Achieving a compelling narrative with limited playtime, however, can be pretty stressful. It's not really a task that can be done. Um, that can be done um, like on the first go around. However, iteration and revision comes easy. However, sure you decide to keep your stories. So, uh, I think now would be a good time to check on your writing skills. Uh, I just want to dive. I just want to use a lot of the time now to just focus on just getting as much like short form writing has done possible. So here's the plan. You'll be writing a couple of paragraph long short stories given on, uh, based on the given prompt that I decide. Um, so just a reminder, that's four to five sentences. And Jack, can you go ahead and read that couple that you said? What is a paragraph without a beginning or end? I don't know. You want me to give that answer? Yes. I said word vomit. Word vomit. Or what else have I seen? I don't know. Who's that? I don't know how she word vomit. It was uh or a story that didn't exist at all. A story that didn't exist at all. But that's me being poetic. <laughs> so yeah. So you want to make sure that you have some sort of clearly defined beginning or end within that paragraph, of course. So each of these stories should also serve as a kind of summary of your game. So be sure to take that into consideration when you're writing. So um, just a reminder, I'll leave the slide up, but you want to post all these short stories in the writing channel on Discord. It doesn't matter how you decide to do it, but basically, um, I'm going to give you guys some prompts here. I actually have a couple. So let me pull that up real quick, just to make sure that I have. But, uh, yeah. What was her prompt? 
Can I get a post in the writing channel? All the prompts? The prompts. Yeah, I, I'll post them in the writing channel. So. Give me a second. So yeah, use this time now if you happen to open up like your writing app or any any form of writing, basically. It could be on paper, it's like you can send a photo of it, whatnot, right? Perhaps the um the button directly pen doesn't need a banner. Perhaps the pen doesn't need it, yes. Oh, and real quick, quick, um I've talked a lot about the short story games or the short games that I've liked. What about you guys? Is there any like short games that you think that you really enjoyed that like still like stuck with you in any way? Yeah. Um, it's typically not a short game to talk about, but it is um so like high five rush. It is I think really? it's still a triple A game, but it's very like upper stuff. It's only like 10 hours long, which for like many triple games is short. Yeah, but yeah. the story's like really fun and stupid and like kind of makes it doesn't really make any sense but it, it like keeps the game fun the characters are great and stuff i guess if we i guess since i've already stressed the definition for portal i would consider hi-fi rush to be a short game as well because i feel like as i don't know if it's just me but i feel like a lot of like triple a games have definitely increased in the amount of play time they're expecting out of you to have so to have like something as refreshing as like a 10 hour game with a lot of like comedic moments and of course like uh, a lot of like like likable characters i would say that for sure high fi rush is a definitely a good call right there um what about it do you think you uh enjoyed out of it was the characters or what what specifically about the plot probably just mostly like the characters because they like they still felt like cartoonish while also feeling real and it wasn't didn't feel like they really had on any on any like unnecessary lines or like, like explanation that was like given throughout the game because it was so short so we really felt very like well developed in that sort of a time span yeah yeah i get that so you would agree that um the pacing for the game is like just right just as where it is with like 10 hours like i, I think for me, it felt like almost perfect. Really? Yeah. All right. That's uh that's definitely good to hear. I would definitely um hold on, sorry. I just wanted to mention that I've been having like I've been like thinking of trying to trying out high five rush, so that's definitely something that you're selling. <laughs> Thank you for that. Make sure you don't high five rush the room. <laughs> oh sorry yeah go ahead question how do shorts um how do stories work for these shorter games if your game is a roguelike where in theory they can beat it all in one go sorry i'm trying to i'm trying to set in the the theme i mean the the, the prom yeah yeah sorry <laughs> kind of Okay, so can you repeat the question real real quick? How do stories and roguelikes work? Minus Hades, because Hades cheats and gives you all the story in between runs. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I feel like roguelikes, roguelikes, or roguelikes, um, I'm not really sure the difference between the two terms, but I feel like those are actually like exceptions to that short game rule that I would consider them as. Because I feel like it's like the same principle as like bogo sorting where like if you just get lucky then sure it could take you like an hour or two hours to beat like a roguelike but if you get unlucky then it could technically take an infinite long like an infinite amount of time to get to like whatever the fine end is for that roguelike I would say um that in that case I can't I find it difficult to apply that short story label two roguelikes um unfortunately i will have to say is i feel like hades is actually a, a good example of like following that short story format because like you said it gives you bits of story and although that might be considered cheating because you're not really getting to that point in the game it still like feels like um still feels like that like that pacing is still like kept even though you may not be able to get to that end of the game right um that is just a personal opinion, so I don't know. 
Yeah, like enough of thing about dating is also like depending on like where you are the game, the dialogue the characters that give you will be different. So like if someone's rushing through the game, but the it was, the game was stressed like the borderlines of dialogue of the story. Mm -hmm. But if you're going way slower through the game, you'll still get like different and impactful dialogue. Make it so like no matter what if you go fast or slow, it still feels well paced. Yeah, yeah. So in that case, um in that case, I would definitely say that um yeah. it's also a matter of how someone does decide to play through a um a shorter game or a game that just gives you story even if you do fail. Um of course, if you don't care about um story like at all, then why bother playing these games, right? I feel like um if you don't decide to take the time that um these developers have put um put into like the narrative of the game, then it's just kind of a kind of like a lose lose scenario for both the player and the developer. Because you're not you're not indulging in a story that they're trying to craft with the uh, limited amount of time that they're given. And you're also just wasting like your own time because like you're go you're playing through the game for the gameplay, sure. But part of the experience is that narrative, right? I feel like um writing as a um, process for game development is something that should be taken into more consideration by developers, or not by developers, but by players as well. That maybe just think of gameplay first, storytelling, right? So again, personal opinion, uh, non-biased writing officer. <laughs> Um, and you said the prompt? Okay, so the prompt is in the Discord, in the writing channel. If you guys aren't already in the Discord, um, what are you doing? I'm just what are you out. doing? What are you get doing? in there right now. <laughs> we don't have a QR code, but just do it. What the heck? I, it, it's a prompt. Okay. It's a, okay. Get it in your prompts. <laughs> Interesting. I actually like that prompt. I'm just going to say. Thank you. Mm -hmm. What is this? <laughs> that's some massive implications. Damn. Jackie, you want cooking? Yeah, it's okay. So basically, the backstory behind this was I was watching a moist critical video. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good start. Okay. And he posted a video uh, with the with the video title, You Should Be Afraid of This. And it was about uh, oh, generative AI taking yeah. over the music industry. Mm -hmm. Oh, so right. now you can literally just write a prompt and like write a like, genre like Midwest emo, and it's gonna produce like a whole like song. Wait, this is huge for order up. <laughs> <laughs> like I feel so bad for people who are going into like college for like music. I guess um, another good talking point that I want to set up if you guys aren't busy on writing right now on writing the short story right now is, what do you guys think about like AI as like a professional writing like assistant? Or like, do you think that they would just take over the jobs of like creative writing as a whole, like by itself? Like, what do you guys think personally? I want to give an example that's a little bit different, but connected to what you said. Mm -hmm. uh, I prepared an interview for someone in the game industry yeah. and I asked it to give me the questions to ask. And I just basically like um, re-edited the things that existed and it sort of like helped me to come up with creative thoughts on top of what I gave me. So I feel like the same thing can go for writing in which instead of just coming up with like the complete thing, you can just like give simple ideas and then do our own complete different thing. Yeah, makes. okay. In that case, I would say that I would definitely, um, I definitely have a lot more positive like feelings about using AI as a I, like ideas generation tool, but not as like the main tool to just do the work for you, right? I think anything that you use as like a kind of assistant should be taken with like a grain of salt, but as like, as stuff like, as simple stuff as like maybe like, oh, I need some uh, writing prompts. Um, I just want to um, just work on my writing skills. Uh, at that point, it's like, oh, you can also just ask like a person that same question and you would pretty much be given similar, or not similar response, but like basically be given the same energy as you would as just typing it out. I feel like in that case. I feel like it's like something, but then you would like take into consideration like immediate, like having an immediate answer. So you ask a person, like if you were to ask me right now to produce another prompt, 
I that would take me like another 30 minutes. Like I'm I'm gonna be real honest. Like okay, yeah. The only reason why I was able to do that prompt was because you started it. And I was like, okay, whatever. <laughs> I feel like I feel like I definitely um that okay. With that in mind, yeah, that's definitely something that um that of course I didn't account for. And I gotta be I'm gonna be honest, that might be something to um to take into consideration with also AI prompting as well, because it's also instantaneous. It's not something that you can actually take more time and actually put more air into it, right? Mm -hmm. So I feel like in that case, um but there's also more flaw in making it fast. Flaw. There's more flaw. But I will say that um, I feel like it's more natural if something were to have flaws. This is getting philosophical for me. It is, I know. It is. Yeah, but I think you had a question, or someone else was raising. Sure. Um. Yeah. 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 Um. Either way, yes, yeah. it's a writing. Thanks for class. I just read yeah. some. Uh, okay, that's right. Do you have any support for? I'm asking some hasn't been here for a bit. Like okay. <laughs> Uh, oh, oh, so the prompts is, is it in the um? It's in the writing the lens of a game or like just in the lens story. of a game. Okay. Yeah, in the game. I'll do I'll do general short story prompts um after this uh after this one. Remember, the only limit that you have is four to five sentences. If you do any less or any more. <laughs> <laughs> any less or any shit. more, I'm disqualifying you. No, 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 no. Wait, how many times are you? I'm going to Okay, okay. Well, okay. Well, okay. Well, okay. Well, I'm going to give you a short one. Well, I'm going to give you a short one. Well, I'm going to give you a short one. Well, I'm going to give you a short one. Yeah, George or well. What? <laughs> you mean like Joel and Wolken Wolken Wolken? Yes. What is yes. George Orwell? George Orwell. Oh, sorry. George Orwell. George Orwell. George Orwell. Oh, wait, sorry. sorry. Hold on. Hold on. Well, yeah. Also, like, on your. Oh, you're that one. I don't think. I think for the. I'm like two seconds. Well, here's, here's, what, here's what I think, right? So. <laughs> The way the way I like to write sentences is like, like the same stuff. principle where if there's a period, that's a sentence. That's what I was like. So cool. if I, I did fit, if I can fit no, as many can, commas as I can, edit it, it won't. Yeah, then that's fine by me. If if I, I, that, then that's also fine by me. So let me. Yeah, I mean, there was like, you're only at programming. I think I like the default. Some of the longest things, some of the longest paragraphs are the most. Heartfelt and well, well delved into. I'll look okay. at it right now. No that's problem, man. I think like if you have four or five periods, periods <laughs> that still counts. You're good. Uh, yes. Yeah. Oh. I've done that before. <laughs> I'm sorry, wait, I can't. Did you post it already? Sorry, hold on. Okay. Can I posted it. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. We'll, we'll check it out. This one? We bought it. All right. I almost think just that. Oh. <laughs> All right. I like that, yeah. Yeah, that would serve the No, that's that's a good fellow. Yeah. You cooked. You cooked. It was really good. Yeah. yeah. I, I think it's like a really nice setup because you're kind of like setting, like, I feel like that's kind of like an introductory thing, kind of like setting up the scene and what the mage is doing, right? And all that. I like it. Um, I think it's I think it's good as it is. Did you have like anything else that you wanted to add? No, yeah, yeah, I see what you mean, though. I think 
in in word count alone, I think I think it's like already like a paragraph. Like if you were to change like the punctuation, um, like maybe switching out like um like some of the semicolons or some of the commas and just ending that off as a single sentence, then it already counts as a paragraph. So you're pretty much good. You've already got like the complexity and you've already got like all the details in. I really like the um the um, combination of drinks and potions, that idea. I like that a lot. Um, you cook with this. You cook with this. I'm not sure if a comma should be. Oh, yeah. I mean, all these people with their like fucked up voice is really hurting my head. <laughs> Why is all of audio art? It could kind of. Are. Is anyone it's audio? Kind of. It's a yes, there's, there's two audio. They're audio. audio. They're audio. They do that. Did art and audio oh, just yeah. switch? Biggest Not the all of them. Oh, just you. Just me. Love machines. Diego's a PM. Diego's been a PM for like yeah. a long time. No, he was programming and then now he's PM. Oh, Brendan's audio. A lot of people. Mm -hmm. Well, everyone's here for programming, right? Luckily. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think all of them started to work out. They're close enough. They're already somewhere. That's close enough. They're probably. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yeah. What, like 50 people? Wait, how do you count sound? Like two, four, ten? Oh, I, I can't count high, but it's like more than that. Yeah. Like, it's, like a, it's like a bride deal. Like, it's like, I, like, a, like a deal that's like done like, with no contract. Mm -hmm. yeah, since you're like, 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 yeah, 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 right? That makes sense. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. If, if we wanted to be. How would we host yeah, it on okay. one of these computers? Mm -hmm. that <laughs> Who's weird. Jack? Someone cooked with this. <laughs> yeah, but I'm, I'm worried that the. Who's DJ Jack? You cooked. you cooked. You cooked. I love the idea going on. Well, this isn't the perfect thing to do. Pan, put a pan. Oh. Like pan. Okay, oh. Pan. 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 You made the wizard game. Wait, no. What is that? Uh, Jackie. Oh, it's like a fried oh, egg. Oh, shut up, man. What about Jackie? Jackie can't find the, the pan emoji. I found it. Look, 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 look. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> now people are reacting with it, though. Yeah, reacting, reacting to that. Reacting to the shallow pan of. I was like, no. I need to react to the top. No, no, I need to react to you just made it. Putting little gems. Oh, no. <laughs> like, you're really flexing the fact that you've got. Yeah. It's good. gonna be gone in like a week. No. <laughs> oh yeah. Sure. Oh, wait, oh, wait. I do mind. This is cutting oh, into my writing. Yeah. Yeah. Continuation. Yeah. 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 Ryan's. Oh, interesting. Oh, actually, yeah. this is not a fact. Like, what? At least it's not the story. It's not a fact. Oh. Actual thing. Is a local. Did you take it? It, it is. is. Oh, 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 never mind. It's an actual thing. Is it mine? And I no, usually thought, oh, you meant like the last thing that happened in like history. No, Alberto, Carmen, yeah. 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 Even within the four to five paragraphs, it's like more of a no, it is. Uh, like an actual story. Yeah. So it's so I still there's still pretty much Portuguese. No, you're good. Yeah. Most of the thing is Portuguese. He said he got like a PhD in Portuguese, Portuguese and then he did another PhD in Portuguese. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, I can barely say it in both. It's the same. Okay. The workshop is pretty straightforward. <laughs> Ignore that we're using a website. I didn't want to teach it over. Let's do I think Diego can probably go through the. Communication part. Uh, I don't know either, but hey, let's confirm that the whole life cycle. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. He said he would be there for the let's first time. Right. Right. He made me fly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're going to, I mean, yeah, it's already good. We're going to get that. Okay. I'm proud of you. Can I see him for a second? Yes. 
Uh, I want to see for the for the upcoming meeting what's up. Okay. Yeah, you, you want to go over the general communication and program and communication Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Oh, and by the way, all the people um, are seeing this recording. Uh, a lot of the people who are on the team like the plane on the Discord. So if you guys aren't already on there, then be sure to check out the meeting at the CI Discord. For all these short stories, and um, they they go to one of their boards. They uh, look up in the state. Look up by Bronx. Oh, it should be there. So be sure to check those out. I don't know if you guys. We'll see y'all next time. Check out the VGTC at UCI server. The the stories will be there. Sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel. Make sure hit that like button and check out the and click the subscribe. Down below, what do you want to see us talk about next? What do you want to see us talk about next? Uh, <laughs> Here, we're going to send them this one. I'm going to go with the more of like a first person perspective for my interesting. Oh, but I might not have enough words for that. No, you're good, yes. Okay, so. Um, since almost, oh wait, no, we're waiting on a couple of people, but I'm gonna start. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead with the next prompt. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and type out the next prompt. You guys are free to chill, or you can also use this time to maybe add another paragraph and add on to the existing story you guys may have already established if you guys want to, of course. I want to see yours. Then. Let me cook. 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 I'll wait. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm also going to go ahead and make this prompt a thread so that it's not confusing with the prompt we already have for right now, right? Mm -hmm. So just wait up on that. Yeah. Oh, I can talk about everything communication related and then you can explain the thing about it. Is that what? Okay. Is it the COVID and the mask? Oh, the social. Oh, the social. Diego, did the other poll already? Where did he go? I saw him walking out when I got here. Oh. Okay, what? Poll old? Yeah, sure. Poll old. What the fuck is that? Yes, uh, not right now. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, I'll come soon. Later. Later. Yeah. I'll come soon. Later. 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 I hope we don't take anything off the drive or we just keep that in place. I can take you off the drive. Yeah. 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 Oh, it sucks. Are you going to be able to save for the programming production corner? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you know how to build? Okay. okay, so let's pull. We have a security one first, so just another first. Bye, Kiana. Here we go. We've secured people. Okay. Or so, uh, so, yeah. They they go to the trailer page and then they they get hub pull. And then while they're pulling in the project, so we explain the activity. Like we're making it 3D platforming. The producers can see the design dog, but they can't like show the program. Show the programmers the doc, of course. And they're limited. Programmers can ask producers questions okay. to any. So I'm gonna send this um last prompt in. I'll put this as a thread first, and then put all your short stories in the thread. So just be sure to for wait for that real quick. Okay. Uh, good question. Yeah. What is a paragraph with a beginning or end? <laughs> oh.
Word vomit. Whoa. Or a story that never existed at all. Let's see. To, oh, 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 wait, no, sorry. sorry. Yeah. To add on to that, uh, <laughs> if you want to put it into a movie's terms, uh, action without story is just visual noise. <laughs> I'm always blown away. <laughs> Honestly, me when I see Charlie. No, literally. Me when Charlie. Me when Charlie, me when Charlie breathes. <laughs> me when Charlie. Just me when Charlie. So blown away. So the thread has been made. So if you want to focus on the next prompt, uh, go ahead. Can you give me a definition of answer from what to take? <laughs> like, I'm going to weasel by people it. like. Oh, yeah. People like. People like. People like. Anthropomorphic means people like. Oh, like flower kids. Yeah. Okay. The flower kids. Yeah, the flower kids. Does it have right. to right. be like, like the entities? <laughs> <laughs> well, Californian races are as anthropomorphic example. Nice. <laughs> what made you think of that first? I don't know. I was just hmm. people. Uh, it's like, Californian oh, races. It's like it like makes sense. I see it. I see it. I mean, the first thing I thought was like, or anyone else who Zootopia. Yeah, I thought of that but, too. Yeah. Uh, I, I immediately just go for like, hey, like, space is the big thing. Like, people of toaster is also like, who? Oh, yeah. The space is the best of all. It was like, I didn't think it was a good thing. Okay, so then. It's been here. 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 It's been as um, in, like, progressive. They can are you people? Are you people? And see that, like, <laughs> communicate. I think I am. Are you like people? I'm gonna make the notifications good by making them. All right. So, uh, to not make this completely boring for you guys uh, watching this. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, so interesting. <laughs> Yo, I think we're gonna play Subway this? Surfers. Can yes. I play Subway Surfers? No. Hey, yo. An old bar Wait, no, do it in your workshop. That workshop is gonna be jam packed with information. That workshop is gonna be jam packed with information. Like, workshop with you. We're getting the news one for now. Except Kate, you know. I've secured it. I've secured Already, we can't have a record well. Also, mm -hmm. Joyce, I just saw your story. I'm gonna okay. go read it real quick. So we'll have After this. this. Don't read my shit. That, that's pretty solid for a program. Doubling. For a talk spring order. That's doubling our last attempt. We doubled the time. I just read one sentence. I like this one. I like no. And I like I like this one. <laughs> this is gonna be great to watch. Wrong. Can I cheat and add a six sentence? Artwork? No. No six sentence? No six sentence. Damn it. It has to at least have the word count of like about five sentences. So if I see you add oh, a six sentence that's supposed to be like, like a five sentence long paragraph, you're done. I'm putting a semicolon. You can't just like, me. Okay. Just done. like Marie Antoinette. So like, yep. Mm -hmm. We are oh. this department. Oh, why is there so much? Oh, they were there on Saturday. That's just that's what I made for the Saturday. Oh, I'm catch up to speed on that. <laughs> oh, man, it's over. I should be you all the I love it when I you can't read anything. Ooh, I like the works. I like the rogue okay. uh, casino game thing going on. I yeah. finally finished. You made you guys everything? Let's hope it's not underwhelming. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Okay. I like never before done. Oh, I'm gonna go so it's working it's like I know because it's like saving the thing like that's like the saved one and this is the original so oh shit okay but it's just like so disgusting that it's like has to use it well again don't like guys I'm so much to then make a new bitmap to then make a new bitmap the memory stream to define the like size of it yeah it's the 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 it
Oh, human body. Like this. Wesley, I like the AI performer and like the magician performers going on. I like that. Yeah. 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 It's $10. I'll take it. Yeah. 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 Well, we can play TF2. Yeah. 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 Or we can play Or we can play Perfect. Yeah. 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 Yeah, we I have some talented lot. writers here. The new generation. New generation. Faster than eight. New generation talent. Yes. Yes. Wait, Charlie, can you react to your thing with the dancing yeah. blob? I don't have yeah, access. So to basically, what we talk okay. about is when yes, we're like people's goals for recording, as well as like any ideas. So yeah, maybe a Minecraft yeah. like. Can we like the coach that we're all with Lost Angeles? And it was just a twist to, um, no, we're thinking of my name. Why Las Vegas through the neon light? Thank you. We have to like, help you. You don't lose it, but you like, you're yeah. just heading yeah. it for a later part of the season. And also, I, I went the straightforward one yeah. route. Yeah. No, you're good. Yeah. I think the think people have more. You can get um oh, scary really computers that like ever deals laptops are really just when them that have long time. Yeah, I would if I can get like at least five people's laptops and it would be cool. Okay. I mean we'll only have like one attendee anyway. It's like <laughs> okay. yeah. Um, I was thinking like a man, man, man. more like a no, cyberpunk like, game. Um I just feel like yeah, really like the main cool. character. I can okay, I can set up. Um, that we have Nadius was um Short for I don't know how see a Matthias. Name Matthias. Or um, I don't know. Amadeus. Um, Amadeus. Yeah. So yeah, Amadeus. So Amadeus. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You finished? All right. Let's check it out. I like. Oh, I yeah. turn yeah. my body instead of going. All right. Like this. Uh, I'll do that too. Was there in a couple of minutes? I am gonna officially yes, end this workshop. Good. But if you guys still want to finish your stories, then feel free to do so and post them on the. Uh, on the thread in the writing Discord channel. So I'm gonna end this officially, but of course. You're free to stay here for the next workshop. It'll be, um, I think, a programming and production collaboration. Yeah. Um, can you guys tell more about what that's about? Cool. Do you want to talk about the programming production collaboration that's happening in like? Wait. Hello. 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 Room, because I have books.